You need to go deep down into everything and monitor since you don't have um, uh, a board in place. Uh, and of course, you, you, you must watch out for these results so that you don't have a lot of litigation, you don't have a lot of problems in the boardroom. Uh, this one uh, should win, this one should mm -hmm. not win. And people start using underhand um, tactics, uh, call a friend, abandon your game, uh, you know. Um, or, or, or when, you are, when you are losing 3 nil, so that it doesn't get, get you don't know, lose by a bigger margin. Abandon the game, mm -hmm. let it end at training, you and know, terrible sending things are going on. distorted videos out, uh, you know, all, all of those things, that I think we should. I, I, we I, should. I think pretty much the NNL needs to be restructured like the Nigeria Professional Football League was restructured. The NNL putting needs a, to governor, be, a yeah, governance structure. Exactly, putting a governance structure, putting a structure that um, would work and, um, you know, some of these things, fine, we have a little about or a little of it in the Nigerian Professional Football League, but then it's on the minimal mm. side because there are rules and regulations and there are laws. If you're going to break the laws, then there's going to be a big issue. So if you're going to, if you want to make the NLL very profitable, just make it, you know, structure it. And when you structure it, I feel things will be very good again. Mm. All right. We'll, we'll talk more about this. And, of course, come back to read a lot of comments on Twitter. But my producer says we need to go very quickly now to Port Harcourt. Uh, you want to find out what's happening in Port Harcourt? Imba will be playing Sunshine Stars of Akure tomorrow in a rescheduled game in the Nigeria Professional Football League. But over the weekend, Sunshine Stars were in Ibadan where they lost 2-1 to 3SC of Ibadan. But something dramatic happened at the end of the game. The players of Sunshine were detained on the pitch by supporters of 3SC. But because the governor of your state, uh, Governor Abel Ajimobi, was around to watch the game, uh, reinforcement came for uh, the security officials, and they were able eventually to get Sunshine Stars players out safely. And these are the pictures. Uh, on your screen, well, I'm at your video, let's warn you, uh, but then you can see the security guys escorting uh, Sunshine out of uh, the stadium, which for me is good, but then you ask yourself, are we going to be having a governor every time there's a game and you to want ensure this, you want this You game. want the game by 2 goes exactly. to 1. What, so what is the reason well, for I, 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 think the, I think there's no lo uh, lo uh, love lost time between um, Sunshine those and Those two teams. Stars. We have they're to warn those two teams. Rivals. They have always been fighting. I can remember, I think, was it last season or two seasons ago, the sports, uh, the, the sport commissioner at the time of oh, your state was um, beating in uh, Ondo. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you get big and in Akura, in Akura because of these uh, um, mm. issues too. So for me, there's no love loss. I think um, uh, things we have need to, to be done. We have to appeal to these two teams. We to, have to appeal to, in the appeal to their of the fans. Game. Appeal to their fans, and mm. I think the management of both clubs needs to talk to their fans. Like this is not right. I mean, you're supposed to be neighbors. You're supposed to find the rivalry is supposed to be there and all that. But then, if you're going to do any rivalry, let it be a very healthy rivalry. I think mm. that's good. They should check out the North London derby. When my you and Asna used mm, to have... Don't be know. going to those places <laughs> for comparison. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but what if the governor wasn't here? It, it will have been a sad story. Um, Very sad story. Um, from authoritative sources, even the, the barbed wires, the security uh, apparatus there, those guys were already, already jumping mm. over those. Uh, and, you know, what, what can police do if a guy is just three meters, four meters away from you? Uh, the police might resort to killing people. And mm -hmm. it, it just... You know, spoils the game. It, it, it leaves everything in bad taste. Mm. Okay, let, let's, let's see if uh, Bankole Wahab, the media officer of uh, Sunshine, is um, on the line to talk to us on uh, Sports Tonight. Wahab, um, I hope you are still there waiting for us. Thank you for, for joining us uh, on Sports Tonight uh, in Padako. How are you getting ready for your game tomorrow against the Yimba? Well, thank you very much, uh, we, we are very safe. We are very sad for the match against Inyaba tomorrow. The players are in high spirit. We are ready to actually you know, take the game to the other elephant. We are determined to actually get my own victory against the uh, people's elephant. The players are ready. They are well motivated. No any kind of uh, new injury as far as the players you know, is concerned. Everybody is very okay. And uh, by the grace of the Almighty God, we will not have any hiding place tomorrow at the Sabu Gomon Stadium in Parako. Well, that game will be played at the Yakubu Gomon Stadium in Parako. But let's talk about the game you played over the weekend in Ibadan. Um, what, how, for how long are you going to continue this uh, hide and seek with 3SC, uh, Wahab? Sunshine and 3SC, as supposed to be neighbors, good neighbors. For how long is this going to continue? Uh, 
it, it is it is very unfortunate that you know uh, this unhealthy rivalry or bitter rivalry between shooting stars and social stars will have to continue. It is very unfortunate that we are having this kind of a thing at the moment. And um, at this doctor, we have must appreciate the effort of the Nigeria Football Federation and the League Management Company of Nigeria, the LNC, for the security you know, measures put in place you know, during the match that took place in about the last weekend. If not for the security measures, maybe we we'll have been talking of oh, another scenario right now. But I, I, I just think, you know, the MFS or the football people that generally will just have to revive the leadership of the, uh, the of the two teams, talking about the Football Association of Ondo State and the Football Association of Oyo State, to actually set to this for them once and for all. It is, it is an ugly thing. It is something that uh, does not, you know, uh, Encourage anybody when you see that our brothers are always at war, war, serious war, whenever matches are to be played between fashion and Shuri Stars. And uh, this particular problem actually started, you know, in the early 2000s, when the two teams were to gain promotion to the early division. I remember that particular year, Sunshine Stars, you know, with about two matches to the end of the season, Sunshine Stars, you know, needed two points to actually gain promotion. Shooting stars needed four points to gain promotion. And the match took place in Ibadan. And at that day, the governor of the Royal State, Lama Dishina, Lama Dishina, Lama Dishina, was at the stadium. And the match ended in a two-all draw. That did not, you know, overwhelm with the Ibadan fans. That was the genesis of the entire problem. Sunshine stars were attacked. The boss was, was, was damaged beyond the mission. Then Coach Tadiri Kana was the coach of Sunshine stars. Sunshine Star had to you know, take the rescue to the uh, Yagoku police station. The team actually entered Akure that fateful day at about 3 a.m. That was the first time the bitter rivalry started between Sunshine Star. I can be on and on like that. But, uh, you know, I, I, I just hope that the leadership of, the, uh, of, of all the teams in the Southwest will, come, you know, will call the two teams together and settle this problem once and for all. We've seen matches involving teams from the eastern part of the country, the Oriental Derby, that will not restore into all yeah. kind of friends that we are having. Well, well, have, well, to well, you. Well, we, have, we have to go on a break now, but uh, you, you've made your point. You've made your point, and I think the appeal is uh, in place. Uh, the two clubs will have to sit together and uh, make sure that this doesn't happen again. Let's go on a quick break now. We'll be back with more uh, to wrap up uh, sports tonight. Join us again. Right, thank you for staying with us, and uh, we were speaking with uh, Waha Bankoli, uh, media officer of Sunshine Stars, before we went on that break, and uh, I think he made his point, uh, and uh, we're also uh, urging the leadership of the two clubs, uh, two clubs in the southwest that should be brotherly, uh, should be cooperating, Sunshine Stars and, uh, and 3SE. Two, I mean, the stars are supposed to be shining, good examples, mm. but um, that's not what we see. But we hope that they can work together and make sure that this um, isn't there anymore. Uh, our final shot on the program tonight is um, from Ken Diadi Pogba is saying, um, I see Nigeria winning three gold medals in Rio. Or oh, he didn't go for that to tell us where those medals will be coming from. All right, I think that's how we have to draw curtains on the show. But guys, um, thank you for your time. Cosmos? Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Bayo, thank you for your, for your time as well. Uh, on on to sports tonight, we'll continue this tomorrow. But you can also tell us what you see. Are you seeing three gold, four gold, five, six gold medals for Nigeria? We'll talk about that and more tomorrow. But thank you for watching. Bye-bye now. Won't touch too many perhaps. The referee has decided to award a free kick to Rangers, uh, to Enyimba rather. The majority of the fans don't seem to agree with him. But to be fair, this is the first time 
I've watched uh, Ferdinand Udo take charge, gave it the MPFL, and fans don't agree with him. Maybe that's what you get with that bit of this magnitude, because this is as big and as high profile as they come in the MPFL. You get the oh, great one there, fantastic finish, absolutely top thrower there, no question about it. Nothing Rangers could do about that. That was sumptuous. Well and truly unbelievable. But what a way to put that one away. Steven Chukwode, the touch was magnificent. The turn was fluid. And that's absolutely fantastic. Good passage of play, but the way he killed that ball, Chukwode, I mean, you, you can see that's a masterful touch. I have that for a finish. Again, Enyimba. Coming forward, Rangers Oje Carlo. Rangers looking hopeful. And uh, what does the referee say? It is the equalizer. No protestations at all from Enyimba. And Enyimba lead lasted less than 90 seconds. And the People's Elephant have cancelled it out with a plum. But that, that's the sort of game you want to get. I mean, this is, this is superb, but this is a player who, we must see too much of Godwin Aguda. He's the man who pops up and uh, finishes a lovely attacking move from Rangers. Here, the ball headed, nobody picking up him, which will have, who rolls it forward, and that was a superb cutback from Bobby Clement. He simply reverses it into the path of Aguda, and you can see no one within yards of Aguda.